Due to popular request and because you guys are nasty, this is the story of the fractured Pen 15. Today, I have a particularly delicious story for you. Join me as I take you through a journey of mystery, mishap, and the oddly bizarre. This is Doctor Storytime. As with most horrific setups, we begin in the lonely abyss that is the night shift. It's 3am, the witching hour, when I'm working as a doctor in the emergency room and I'm just about to go on my first break in 8 hours. It's worth mentioning at this point that during night shifts, the emergency room I was working in was staffed by just 3 doctors, including me, 2 juniors and 1 senior. As I'm heading to the staff room to tuck into my stale cheese sandwich, I come across an embarrassed young man who was in the waiting room with his girlfriend and he was writhing around in excruciating pain and he was clutching his groin. The triage nurse who sees patients initially and orders them according to priority beckons me over and says, do you mind seeing this one quickly? Why not? The cheese sandwich can wait. I take him to an empty cubicle and the first thing that explodes out of his mouth is simply, doc, I think I've broken my penis. He exposes his meat and two veg and when examining him, I notice his appendage was bent, swollen and purple due to extensive bruising. My mind quickly raced to the textbook I'd seen in medical school, the classic aubergine sign, swollen and purple. This my friends was a penile fracture, not good. I take a brief history from the patient to find out exactly why it happened and ignoring the blushes of his female companion, he tells me he was engaged in, how can I say this without YouTube striking me, a session of horizontal bedroom gymnastics when he heard a loud pop. I explained to him the consequences of his actions and the science. Yes, I was giving someone a science lesson at 3am and I'll do you the same courtesy. Although rare, a fracture can occur when there is trauma to an erect sausage. This fracture differs from fractures in other parts of the body because surprise surprise, the gooey cannon has no bone. During a stiffy, the meat stick is engorged with blood that fills two cylinders, the corpora cavernosa. These two masses of spongy stuff are surrounded by a fibrous outer envelope called the tunica, the tunica albuginea. This keeps all that blood contained and crucial to the shape of a boner. If all a Pen15 did when its owner got aroused was fill up with blood, it would be a big blood-filled noodle. But that envelope gets thin and rigid and the organ becomes erect and unfortunately highly breakable. Aggressive pounding of the meat stip can cause a tear to the tunica albuginea, which opens up the corpus cavernosa and lets all that blood out. And if that happens, it's a catastrophe and you need to go to the hospital immediately. This trauma is most often caused by sexual intercourse, such as when the flesh gherkin slips out of the vagina and is accidentally thrust against the pelvis. Fracture can also occur due to aggressive masturbation or takandan, a cultural practice in which the top of an erect cucumber is forcefully bent to relax an erection. Not recommended. The woman on top position is the most common culprit. During the unsynchronized bedroom swimming, if a careless upstroke allows the pocket rocket to fully exit the crevice of choice, the next fraction of a second has a high disaster quotient. That's not a medical term. On the next downstroke, the suddenly free trouser snake is very likely to encounter a wall instead of a window. With the tunica bearing the weight of a human being, a bend becomes downright inevitable and a break is sickeningly possible. So either avoid this position or be very careful. A fracture often results in a one-eyed monster that bulges and appears purple, looking somewhat like an eggplant, as my transatlantic friends would say. Signs and symptoms of a fracture include immediate pain, a popping or cracking sound, rapid loss of erection, aka detumescence, swelling in the shaft, discoloration in the shaft due to bleeding underneath the skin, and sometimes the tube that drains the urine from the body, the urethra, is damaged as well, and blood might be visible at the urinary opening. Now, these Signs are pretty hard to ignore, and once again, if this is unclear in any way, a quick and highly unsettling image search for eggplant deformity will really help. The doctors in the emergency room can confirm your fracture through a thorough clinical examination and also by tests like a urethrogram, an MRI scan, a cavernosogram, which is an x-ray of your dingle, and occasionally you might need a cystoscopy a procedure in which a hollow tube equipped with a lens can look directly into your urethra to determine whether it's actually injured or torn. You usually require surgery to repair this tear in your penile tissue, and it's important that you go under the knife within three days of the injury. This isn't a wait and watch kind of condition. If you put it off too long, you can raise your risk of complications down the line. Injury will heal by scarring, and the scarring can cause chronic pain, as well as permanent curvature and even erectile dysfunction. I don't know exactly what became of this young man. He was certainly overwhelmed 
home by my early morning science lesson and he was seen by the urology team a couple of hours later and listed for surgery and I hope all went well. That's all I have for you today and if you enjoyed this tale, you're a sick person. But make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for more Doctor Storytimes. Happy snuggles.